Greetings and welcome to my Minecraft 1.10 Let's Play. So, you may have noticed I've changed the wall a bit. Um, I wasn't happy with it. I'm still not entirely happy with it. It's got the elements I want to use, the fences and the, uh, and the logs, but it doesn't seem to matter what I do, it looks too busy. So, what I've decided to do today is to leave this for now and do something we haven't done for quite some time and that's go on and explore um, now we know that there's an ocean that way we haven't built a boat and gone but uh, we'll do that one day we went all the way south i think that we could uh, and hit an ocean and eventually a mushroom island and we did go a little bit east but we didn't really get much further than the village what we've never done is gone anywhere this way at all. So that's what I thought we would do today. Uh, pop my snazzy hat on. I've got things that I need or might need in here, um, except for a bed, because I don't fancy running through the dark. So we'll put a bed in there, we'll take this with us, and uh, let's just get going. I took a bit of time between uh, tearing down and putting back up the wall that I may well end up tearing down again um, to mend my tools and armour so we should be good to go it's fairly early-ish in the day um, and I'm hoping we can find something really nice um, I've got enough storage space I think on me to uh, pick up anything interesting we find we might come across some new trees we still don't have uh, jungle or acacia we still haven't found a desert. I really, really would love some cactus. I could do with some green dye at this point. Um, I want to start getting some banners made for these various towns and villages. And that's actually quite difficult when you haven't got the full range of colours. So I suspect this is going to be quite a uh, hilly start to our journey. But I think uh, we'll we'll manage somehow. We'll get past these hills and we'll see what's on the other side. And it looks like the first thing coming up is going to be a forest. So there, uh, there may be some navigational issues. I'm going to try and stay fairly straight on the path. But I don't want to keep the F3 screen up at any point particularly. Um, I've... But I, I reckon if I go in a, a straightish line, I, I'll hit something I recognise on the way back at some point. So, what else has been going on? Ooh, black sheep, hello. I've I've started a new modded series. Um, the first episode of that went up yesterday. Uh, I'll be updating that one twice a week, I think. Um, and it's but it's left me with a few sort of hangovers. Uh, I. I in that pa particular pack, I only have my hot bar. The rest of my inventory is locked out. So I found myself panicking about space to carry things completely unnecessarily since then. I don't think we need any more eggs, thank you. Yeah, this is just a pretty bog standard forest so far. Not seeing anything terribly exciting, but um, we'll press on, we'll press on. It'll be nice to know what's uh, available nearby within reach of our towns. Oh, that's quite a, that's a hilly forest over there. So the extreme hills are still coming round this way. Um, let's drift over around here a bit. Because, of course, we might find somewhere really, really great that we want to build something, somewhere inspiring, um, in which case we'll have to think about setting up some kind of nether transport hub. Um, which you know, is something that ultimately I would like to do. At the moment, the uh, the builds have all been fairly close together out of necessity, and partly because it was just a really nice area to spawn in. I got very lucky. But um, at some point, I'm going to want slightly more distant uh, towns and cities and things. 
And in that case, I think uh, some kind of nether transport system would be quite useful. I think we've got a tiger coming up. That'll be nice. Oh, of course, in anywhere w where we could just gather interesting resources like uh, Podzol or... Um, and at some point I will go back and, and link the uh, Mushroom Island up. But Overland, I'd quite like to get some kind of train system in place as well. I haven't played with trains an awful lot, uh, more minecarts, in the past, uh, other than sort of short trips here and there. Are those horses or donkeys? I would love a donkey. I think these are horses though, aren't they? Yeah. Ah well, can't have everything. Let's see. Is this just a small patch of tiger, or is it a larger one? At some point I should probably get a horse. I've got plenty of saddles. I just always forget about them. It might make trips like this slightly more interesting. So, if I ever get that wall sorted out, and it, that I think will be a fairly medium to long term project between uh, episodes now rather than doing it all on camera. Um, there are other things that I want to build in the castle city, uh, not least of which is the castle, but I'm thinking that that is the place that is going to have the more industrial setups. So one of the first things I want to put in is a sort of blacksmiths with an industrial scale smeltery. And that's really where I need to brush up my minecart skills. I've seen some really nice ones in tutorials and I think that's going to be the way that I go um, with a sort of rail delivery system. And of course to go along with that some kind of blaze spawner uh, farm would be kind of nice. I've got a wolf over there. I think I've got some bones on me but uh, can't remember actually. Do I want the dog? Maybe get him on the way back. He would be kind of handy to have around. Uh, more forest? We do seem to have a decent amount of land in this direction. We haven't run into a giant ocean at all. Um, yeah, so the, the skeleton farm's kind of entrance is in the, the back of the the castle city uh, area so it kind of makes sense to me that it would have other um, farms and things in there so I'm also thinking at some point I wouldn't mind a small iron farm um, but that might not be the most practical place to put it um, it depends how much time I'm going to spend there in the long term although if my sort of industrial machinery is uh, up there it's probably going to be fairly frequently visited. And I don't need huge amounts of iron. I mean, I don't need titan amounts of iron. But I could do with uh, something supplying iron that isn't uh, taking time to, to dig out. Although that, uh, that beacon mine is really quite something. It's, uh, it's a lot of fun to use. And you do get a lot of resources quite quickly. Um, unfortunately for me, the resource has mostly been stone, um, which is fine. You know, I, I do need uh, a fair amount of it for the castle build. I think it might be time to put our bed down for the night. Let's, uh, let's make sure we don't get any nasty surprises on our way. That poor tree. I don't think it's going to last somehow. I've got a feeling that entire thing is going to disappear. Right, give me my box back. Thank you. Yeah, that's had it. Right, we were going this way, weren't we? Yes, towards this uh, hill, which we might try going around rather than over. Although there might be more interesting things to look at up the top. Oh, we don't have any of these. Take a couple, because we can get plenty more with bone meal, the way that works. And who can resist picking up free iron? Okay, let's see what we've got over here. 
This is looking like Extreme Hills. So, yeah, the next really big build project, apart from the wall, is going to be the castle itself. Um, but I really, I kind of want to have the wall design settled before then, because it'll need to be um, fairly, not, not necessarily matching, but uh, in the same style around the castle keep itself. I've got a feeling there's going to be something really pretty up there if I can find a way up. I've probably missed dozens of ways up by now. Let's, uh, let's have a look over here. Is this a little bit of flower forest? No? No, it looks like normal forest. It's just a patch of, uh, of tulips. Right, let's have a quick look up here. I do love the extreme hills. They're so majestic looking. And there is nothing but forest as far as the eye can see. So, let's have a quick look out onto the horizon over here. That's quite a nice plain as well, isn't it? There's a sort of lake in it. Hmm. Right, pressing on. Because I think we are going to uh, just see how far we can get in an episode's worth of time. There's a lot of uh, dead stuff around here. The wolves have been busy. Not a lot of sheep left. I wonder why they don't eat pigs. Well, maybe they do and they just prefer sheep, so that's what you find first. I really hope there's something other than uh, forest. I really want to see a new biome today at some point. Right, let's do a bit of speedy time through this. If I can uh, get through without falling in any holes. No, we don't have any of them. I don't think. Or we might. One or two, maybe. And I think I walked straight past the tall rose bush earlier as well. But look, there's some right here for me. It's like the Minecraft gods are listening. Oh, more forest. I thought for a second there we might be getting something different over the hill. But we will keep going. We will keep going. and We will find something new and interesting very soon. Oh, this would be such a pain without Depth Strider, wouldn't it? This is quite a nice spot as well, though. The hill on one side there and deeper lake here. I'm not sure I've seen anywhere where I've felt oh I've got to build something here right now um, but so far we don't seem to be uh, getting anything new let's have a quick look over here at this tiger because it looks like that's going to be a fair amount of ocean not seeing a guardian temple anywhere Still not found one of those, which is a bit of a shame. But we'll uh, we'll come across one eventually, I'm sure. Once we uh, venture far enough. Okay, let's let's just head over here. I have got a boat in my box there, but I haven't uh, haven't thought to get it ready. That's a lot of squid suddenly appearing. That's an awful lot of squid. They're having a party. It's just tigers, a mega tiger. I'd love some podzol. I think that's a really nice block to uh, to add into floors like the ones around the um, farming district. You know, those paths, I think, could be enhanced a great deal with a bit of podzol. But uh, yeah, we'll see how we get on. At least we know where to go for wolves now, which is. Something that, you know, I, I do want some eventually. What I tend to do with them, though, is just you know, sit them down and leave them so that they don't die on me. But um, I, I get attached, you see. This is the problem. Yeah, that's an interesting little bay. And a proper bit of beach. Is that a full-on ravine? It is, isn't it? Let's see if I can get him. Oh, hungry. Right. I don't usually associate spruce trees with uh, little deserty island type things, but 
Oh well. Oh, there must be a desert somewhere. Oh, village. Hello. You are a submerged village. Wow. I've never seen one like that before. Let's have a look. Have you got anything interesting? What have you got? You're a butcher. Okay. And no, I've got enough leather armor, thank you. And you're going to be zombie flesh, aren't you? Okay. And what have we got over here? Another leather worker. Right. Fortune one for 19. Hmm, interesting. You've got a mushroom in your house, you need to clean it. Another butcher. Um, there's a lot of butchers, but not a lot of brown coats. Another leather work, either that or I'm just clicking on the same guys over and over again. It is entirely possible. Let's have a quick look up the top, see if we can't see what kind of buildings we've got. Okay. Ooh, beets, I don't have those yet. Doesn't look like we've got a blacksmith, though. Oh, well. Yeah, I quite like this area. This is this is unusual. Ooh, there's a building over there that I didn't see. Let's have a look. Because I want to come up and get some of these uh, boot through anyway. We'll leave them some though. This is a funny little buried house. It's got a mud wall in the middle of it. That's just weird. Where would your door be then? Where's it supposed to be? Over there? I'm very confused. Let's just take some of this out and see if we can't see what's going on. Oh, you're trapped in there. That's not necessarily a bad thing. Um, yeah, you're still not a brown coat, though, are you? You're not a butcher. Well, you have a very nice house. There, now you can use all of it. I might just trap these guys back in again. Now, oh, too late. And through more forest, just tiger forest. I think that's how you say it. I've never really quite fathomed out the cr proper pronunciation. But, uh, or spruce forest. I could always call it a spruce forest. I'm sure nobody would mind. I'm slightly disappointed in the lack of variety, if I'm honest. It's, um, it's not been the most diverse set of biomes, really. I've not found anything new apart from a few plants um, and even so one of those flowers I'm fairly sure I've already got uh, that looks like a bit of plains over there is that yeah let's head over to there before we keep going north just so that I'm not running through more and more trees I'm really really not sure if I'm ever going to find a desert at this point, I really want to find a desert. Even better, a desert with a temple in. Just something new, something interesting to look at. Although that floating village was quite fun. Right. This is a cow plain. Lots of cows. Let's see what we can find. More forest. More plains. Again, this is it's not an unattractive area, it's just, you know, I've got lots of this nearby. I don't need this to be, you know, the same. I want something new. I'm going to say that so many times you're going to get sick of me. Mind you, this river's quite nice. We've got another village over here. I've got a path down here. That's 
Is that where you wash your clothes? I don't know. Right. You don't look like a very big house. We'll go talk to people after we've had a look around this time, I think. Unless we see a librarian, because we have to talk to them immediately. Armour. There's lots and lots of black apron men around here. Um, not a lot of other stuff, though. Again, I'm not seeing a blacksmith. I'm not seeing an awful lot of buildings, actually. This is quite a small village. Um, a little wooden house down there, something else down there, but it's wooden so it's not going to be a blacksmith. And then there's the tower. Right. What have you got? You're an armourer as well. A lot of armourers. This is, this is clearly where they live. Um, hmm. Okay. Off we go again. see if we've got anything new around here. I don't know if I'm going to find a desert out where there's so many uh, tiger biomes. It's supposed to get colder at that point, isn't it? Um, hmm. This is going to be very pretty again, I think, but uh, again, nothing new. This is really pretty. Um, but yeah, still, not a lot to see in the distance of uh, anything like a new biome. I'm pretty sure that's ocean over that way and more forests and plains and things. I mean it's almost the same as what we've got at home. There's a pile of sand there. Should we risk it? Should we have a quick look over that? I bet it's just like uh, a bit of sort of beachy thing up the side of a very high up lake or river or something. Uh, for some reason I feel like I need to go and check before I say goodbye oh there's something over there let's uh, let's just keep going for a minute I saw another patch of white it could be snow um, over there I think that might be snow well, there's plenty of sand here anyway. Let's go see what we can find. Yeah, that is snow, isn't it? So why is that snowing at that level? That's quite low down to be snowed on, isn't it? Let's just go and have a quick look. And... Uh, might have to put F3 on and see what it's calling the biome. Ice is new, I suppose. That is uh, some, not something we've had before, but I'm sure something we could make up at the top of our own home extreme hills. Okay, what's this biome called? Ice plains. Right, okay, this is actually some variety. Nonetheless, our time really is up. Hello, rabbits. That's the first rabbits I've seen as well. Um, yeah, it, it really is, uh, for an ice plain, it's not very icy. I wonder if that means there's spikes nearby. Because that would be cool. Let's get up the top of this hill and have another look. And then I think I really am going to have to call it. Yeah, this is just a very large ice plains, isn't it? Okay. Well, ah, look. This is the first one of these I've ever seen. Mm. No, don't hurt me. I don't want to kill you. I'm not going to get between you and your baby. Well, that's something at least. I think that's a decent note to end the episode on. We found a new critter for 1.10. But I might just carry on over this way a little bit, see if it leads to anything interesting. Um, and if it does, I'll put it in the time lapse. 
No, don't hurt me. I don't want to hurt you. Oh, you've forgotten me, apparently. Right. Well, that's a bit sad. I had to kill it. Can you eat this? I bet you need to eat it raw, don't you? Wish I brought a lead now. You could be my friend. Right. Let's try this for the third time. There isn't really anything left to say, except thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.